Good morning and welcome again to Thursday morning prayer coming to you from Community Presbyterian Church in Payson, Arizona. I'm Reverend Linda Westcott, a retired Presbyterian minister who attends the church here in Payson and today is Thursday, December 14th, 2023. But if you found us on another day or time, don't worry. We're still here. And I'm glad that you've decided to tune in today or any other day for scripture and prayer and a bit of encouragement knowing that God is still here every day, every morning and night, and hears our prayers. We hear a lot these days about the corruption of our country's leadership on all sides. We see the results of power and greed in our world. And we hear things that we may, may make us fearful. And we don't know what to believe or who to listen to. So today, I want to bring you a message of hope and faith and of trust in God within this world in which we live. So I'll give you a moment to get comfortable, and we will begin with one of my favorite psalms that speaks to all of these, of hope for our deliverance, of faith and trust in God's faithfulness, and also of the refuge we find in God. So take a moment and get comfortable. And this is Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress in God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield in defense. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in the darkness or the destruction that wastes at noontime. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. And now in Jeremy 23, 23 to 32, we hear that was Jeremiah. We hear God speaks to Jeremiah about his nearness to him. Am I only a God nearby, declares the Lord, and not a God far away? Who can hide in secret places so that I cannot see them, declares the Lord. Do I fill heaven and earth, declares the Lord? I have heard what the prophets say who prophesy lies in my name. They say, I had a dream, I had a dream. How long will this continue in the hearts of these lying prophets who prophesy the delusions of their own minds? They think the dreams they tell to one another will make people forget my name, just as our ancestors forgot my name through Baal worship. Let the prophet who has a dream recount the dream, but let the one who has my word speak it faithfully for what has straw to do with grain declares the lord is not my word like fire declares the lord and like hammer that breaks a rock in pieces therefore declares the lord i am against the rock, the prophets who steal from one another words supposedly from me yes declares the lord I am against prophets who wag their own tongues and they declare the Lord declares. 
Indeed, I am against those prophets who prophesy false dreams, declares the Lord. They tell them and lead the people, lead my people astray with their reckless lies. Yet I did not send or appoint them. They do not benefit these people in the least, declares the Lord. Well, who are the false prophets now of today? And where are they leading us? Are we like those lost sheep we hear about in Jesus' story? Do we follow along the crowd? Or do we trust in the good shepherd to lead us in the way of truth? We remember again that familiar line from Psalm 23. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. Well, you have most probably all heard the story that Jesus told about the lost sheep. How the shepherd left the, all the whole group of sheep just to go and look for that one that was lost. We have heard the story about how when they strayed, how our good shepherd comes and, and looked for them. And how when we stray, he comes and looks for us too. And doesn't count the cost. Because we are all precious to God. And we find God coming to find us. And I love that thought. We are told to walk humbly with God, but sometimes we still find ourselves on the wrong road. And it's then that we need to turn around and head back until we have gotten our bearings again. Well, I know a little bit about that. Sometimes I know how it feels to be a lost sheep. I have a terrible sense of direction and often get turned around on my way somewhere to find myself going the wrong way. Yes, I have a map on my phone and a portable GPS I could use, but the directions don't always coordinate with the way I'm holding a map. And much to my husband's dismay, I am best with a drawn map with simple pen lines and arrows that I can see going in the direction that I think I need to go. But that doesn't mean that I don't get lost. The last time I was in Phoenix uh, for an appointment, doing pretty well, I ended up turning the wrong way on a corner where the road signs ch changed on each side of the road. And of course, I'd chosen the wrong one. And when I had finally realized I had strayed too far away from my desti destination, I knew I needed to turn in somewhere to get my bearings. And God let me, led me to a mall parking lot where I found a nice woman out in the middle of the parking lot sweeping the pavement and I went over and asked her and yes I had been going in the wrong direction. Well we certainly need to get our bearings at a time like this. Who to believe, who to trust, and what part direction we need to choose in helping to make this a better world for all of us. Let us pray. Our God in whom we trust, lead us into the paths of righteousness and turn our feet toward those things that are good and worthy. Turn us around when the road we are walking in is full of discord and mean-spirited rhetoric and set us on a new road where justice and kindness and understanding prevail. Show us your ways, O Lord. Lead us in your truth. Open our eyes, our minds, and our hearts to know you will be with us and follow us. And let us always follow in the pathway of Jesus our Savior. And we pray now in his name. Amen. And now let's join in the Lord's Prayer, and you can say it in the way that you're most comfortable with. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now receive the benediction of the Lord. May the Lord himself, who is our source of peace, give you peace at all times in every way. And the Lord be with you all. Amen.